Hey friends, welcome to another Lisa vlog. Um, today I wanted to talk about the cost of uh, being raw and my personal experience of how it's changed our finances um, since becoming a raw vegan. Now I know a lot of people are going to be coming from already vegan and going from like beans, potatoes, rice, a lot of that kind of stuff, or maybe a lot of the vegan meats and cheeses and things that they make that are actually more expensive um, because they are processed. But uh, moving from a vegan diet, a cooked vegan diet to a raw vegan diet can be a little bit more expensive because you're buying a lot more fresh produce and maybe out of season items which are more expensive than the beans, rice and potatoes. But this is more to address those that are coming from a standard American diet, um, which would include a lot of um, treats, snacks, uh, chips, takeout, energy drinks, coffees, pop, you name it, all of that kind of stuff uh, that I used to eat. Um, we used to spend, and this is in Canadian dollars, we used to spend about $850 a month on consumable items. This wasn't just grocery shopping. This is like, you know, all of those trips to the gas station to get your energy drinks or chips, candy, takeout, you know, lunch is, ends up being $20 at the sushi place for two people. So between the two of us, we were spending about $850 a month on stuff that we ate and drank and consumed. So we're basically talking here, uh, we would go grocery shopping and you know, we'd get our typical meats and cheese and eggs and dairy and all of that kind of stuff. And we would get um, our packaged foods that we loved, our instant stuff. Um, a lot of chips because we ate chips almost every single night watching TV. Uh, energy drinks we would buy by the case because uh, it was cheaper. Um, you know, just the average stuff that everyone buys. And then we would buy vegetables on top of that, which would sadly end up going rotten in the fridge. We'd eat a couple things just because, you know, you'd buy them and you'd be like, I'm healthy. You would feel it because you'd really want to eat them at the grocery store. But then when you get home and you're tired and all you want is that frozen pizza that you bought too. So you put that in the oven and then the next day you get something else or you, you know, and you gradually you forget about the poor fruits and vegetables in your fridge and then they go rotten. Most of them do anyways. But I felt bad that we were wasting a lot of money on the fruits and vegetables. So that was also a big waste of money. Um, but I found that when we went uh, raw vegan after the first month, we were saving a good three to four hundred dollars a month because we weren't drinking energy drinks every day. We weren't going out and buying coffees. We weren't buying chips. We weren't uh, going out for takeout because they're really is only one raw vegan restaurant in the city. So there really was a huge, oh, plus all the meat and cheese and dairy and all of that kind of stuff that we weren't buying, uh, no more packaged foods. We were saving a lot of money. And when you think about it that way, a lot of people, when they go from being a standard American diet to eating a raw vegan diet, they forget that a lot of the stuff that they used to eat before, they're not gonna be spending money on. So you can use a lot of that money to buy your uh, raw produce. And I mean, I can go to Costco and get six heads of romaine lettuce for $4 and I can get like six bunches of bananas for maybe 10 bucks. So it really, it's a lot more inexpensive to eat this way when you're coming from a standard American diet with lots of eating out and uh, other things. Uh, for example, if we go to a really fancy restaurant and I get my raw vegan salad, it's still $17. And I mean, I could buy how many bunches of bananas for that? Or, you know, I could have tre treated myself to a bunch of mangoes or, you know, um, some berries that are out of season. Where we're, you know, we have this idea that, oh, it's okay to eat out and spend 50 or $60 on a dinner uh, with our significant other, but spending 50 or $60 on a bunch of raw food seems so weird to us. Uh, it, it's just perspective. If you stop eating out and you stop going to places like that and spending a lot of money, even at the movie theater, you're buying popcorn, even if it has no butter on it, you're still spending a lot of money on the popcorn when you could just go with a bottle of water and really enjoy the movie. So it really is 
taking those steps to delete those items from your life will actually save you a lot of money. And another thing that I wanted to talk about before I sign off uh, is the budget wise. When we budget for our groceries, we budget for winter prices. So during the winter months, that will be our new budget based on the availability of certain fruits and vegetables because stuff is more expensive in the winter. So we do base our budget on winter months and most likely the worst winter month, January, uh, February, when things are probably the most expensive, like pineapples are like $7 each. And so we really have to be pick and choose with what we get. And like I said in another video, I mean, I can't be too picky because we get bananas in Alberta, which is awesome because we shouldn't get bananas up here. We shouldn't even have goji berries up here, but we do. So we have places that grow them. They are, again, more expensive, but they are available. So I can't complain, but we base our budget on winter months. So when it comes to the summertime, we're saving a lot of money. We can either save that cash for more winter stuff, or we just enjoy the savings during the summer. It changes your perspective. Instead of thinking, oh, it's so uh, this is my budget during the summer and now all of a sudden I can't afford it in the winter. Instead, do your budget for the winter so that you save money in the summer. And it'll really help with your mindset financially if you can do that. That's just a little tip that I had that I wanted to share. And I'm gonna try and do daily videos if I can think of subjects. If you guys have any ideas that you wanna talk about, please comment below with your questions and I will try and do more videos more often. So if you like this and you want to, you can click subscribe and follow me here on YouTube. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Two Grand all at Raw Food Romance. So I'm gonna go write my book and I love you guys so much. Fruit on. Check out my book, guys. I've written a lot. Um, it's going to be my story, my year as a raw vegan, what I learned, um, what I experienced, ideas, and tips. So you're basically going to read it like a journal and hopefully you guys will learn stuff. Check out how many words I have. It'll be a little bit, got a lot to say.